A major development in a case that sent shockwaves through Santa Clara County. An appeals court has overturned the convictions of three former deputies for the jail beating death of inmate Michael Tyree. It all stems from a change to state law. KPI X5's Len Ramirez followed that original case and explains why the convictions were overturned and what that could mean for future cases. Well, strong reactions here in Santa Clara County to the overturning of the three convictions of the correctional officers in the Michael Tyree case. The district attorney's office says it is still reviewing the appellate court's decision, but the attorney representing the family of Michael Tyree says the case should be retried. At first, I was shocked. Because Attorney Paula Canny represented the sisters and daughter of Michael Tyree, a mentally ill inmate who was beaten to death in his jail cell, allegedly by three correctional officers in 2015. There's no question that the three defendant correctional officers acted terribly, that Michael Tyree suffered horribly, and that he died as a consequence of their action. A jury convicted officers Matthew Ferris, Jerry Lubrin, and Rafael Rodriguez to second degree murder, and they were sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. But in 2019, SB 1437 became law, which changed how people can be convicted of murder. Under the new law, they now must be the actual killer or had the intent to kill. In the officer's trial, it was never proven who among the three dealt the fatal blows. The new law is retroactive, so the appeals court overturned all three convictions. People were being prosecuted for murder who didn't intend to kill and who didn't have implied malice. And what the court said is that's too wide a net and too many people are being convicted of murder without that kind of intent that's needed. District Attorney Jeff Rosen's office said it's reviewing the court's decision, but the family's attorney says the case should be re-prosecuted. I want justice to be served and I want the person who is legally responsible, not just in my opinion that all three are morally responsible for Michael Tyree's death. Any one of them could have stopped the other and saying, what are you doing? In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.